my geeky ohana, Eddie here. That's right, I live! I apologize for taking so long with this video. For various reasons, it took me a lot longer than I anticipated, but I was finally, finally able to get it done. So, this video will cover the filming that took place from September to December 2020. Some of this filming falls into block 4, some doesn't. I'll try to specify when I know which is which. For more information on the block system of TV production, please check out my block 1 video, but I'll do my best to briefly explain terms like principal photography, pickups, and others, as well as the various stages of how a film or TV series comes together. But, disclaimer, I do not work in the industry. I've tried my best to understand the process based off the research, but as always, keep in mind that I may be wrong. According to an article from the Institute of Producing and Recording, there are five stages of film production. Development, pre-production, production, which includes principal photography, post-production, including editing, VFX, music and sound, and many other things, and then distribution. Post-production is a little bit of a misnomer because parts of it actually occur in conjunction with production. Editing, for example, is one of those processes in post-production that is partially going on while principal photography is happening. After a day of filming wraps, that footage is sent to the editor who gets it a few days later. As the editor gets more and more footage, they can start on the editing process. As stated by careersinfilm.com, if the editor feels like there is something missing, she can consult with the director to see if they can get it added to the schedule. This can be inserts or other shots that help the scene tell the story better. Of course, keep in mind that scenes are not filmed in order, so the process may look a little bit more like this, with the editor putting the pieces together as they get filmed. It may be helpful to think of each production block as a mini-movie. Scenes will be filmed out of order within each production block, but in general you won't be filming scenes for block 4 during block 1 of principal photography. But there can always be exceptions. For example, it's conceivable that for logistical reasons, an additional scene for block 1 might be filmed concurrently with filming for block 2 while all the necessary people are available. Take for example a filming schedule with block 2 right after block 1. Let's say an actor arrives at the filming location at the end of block 1. This actor's character first appears in the story at the end of episode 2, which is part of block 1 but primarily appears in episodes 3 and 4, which are part of block 2. For logistical reasons, they may choose to film the scene that occurs at the end of episode 2 alongside block 2 principal photography, though the situation might look closer to this, with two different units filming simultaneously. Again, disclaimer, I am just guessing and I could be totally wrong. If you do work in the industry, please leave your comments below and correct me. Anyway, why is this important? Well, I was thinking about the actors that I previously listed as being part of Block 4, and after pondering a little more, I'm no longer so sure who really is in Block 4 and who's not. So with that, I'm going to revise some of the guesses I made in my previous Block 4 video. Now is a good time to issue a spoiler warning. There may be spoilers ahead, so proceed at your own risk. If you don't want anything from the show potentially spoiled for you, don't watch any more. Also, before I proceed, I wanted to issue a special thanks to my colleagues at Wattseries.com, Narg the Daily Trollic, and also John at WattUp. A lot of this information is thanks to them. Please check out Narg at Wheel of Time Love on Instagram, and John at his WattUp YouTube channel. They're both amazing sources of news and information. Alright, let's get into block 4, or what they filmed of it during fall of 2020. First, let's review the basics about the block, which includes episodes 7 and 8. The director is Kieran Donnelly and the director of photography is David Luther. We still don't know the titles of either of the episodes or the writers, but my guess is that the writers are A.K. Schumann and Rafe Judkins. Now, based off of this information from the Czech Extras Agency, we know that filming was scheduled for 65 days, or approximately 13 weeks, from September 7th until mid-December. This is longer than what was originally scheduled for the spring of 2020. Some of that might be because of health and safety protocols slowing things down, 
and some might be because they decided to work in additional shoots and reshoots needed for previous episodes. But either way, we don't know exactly why it's such a big difference. Let's talk about the cast. Originally, these were the cast members I said were known to be in Block 4. But after thinking about it, I decided to move Kira Chansa and Kate Fleetwood out of this known category. I'll talk about that later. So, the cast members we do have that we know will show up in episodes 7 and 8 are Yosha Stadowski, Marcus Rutherford, Barney Harris, Zoe Robbins, Madeline Madden, Rosamund Pike, Daniel Henney, Hamid Animashan, Kaya Alexander, Amar Chada Patel, Thomas Channing, and Sandra Yi Sensen Diver. Finally, among our actors that are probably in block four, we have Guy Roberts. I'm 99% sure he filmed during this block, but because he lives in Prague, I can't rule out the possibility, even if it's small, that he was just spotted hanging out with friends during this time. Let's move on to those actors who were there during block four, but who may have filmed additional footage for another block. First, we have Kate Fleetwood. It's possible she was filming for episode 7 or 8, but it's also possible she was there to film additional footage needed for a previous episode. I don't know for sure, so she's in this unknown category. Next, we have Kira Chansa. Similar to Kate Fleetwood, while she was definitely filming while Block 4 principal photography was being completed, it's possible she was there to film additional footage needed for a previous episode. And the reason I'm thinking this is because Sophie Okonedo, who plays Swan, may not have been involved in Block 4. In a series of different interviews that took place in January of 2021, she said first that the job she was in the middle of when the pandemic started was something that only stopped for three months, and was something she was still working on at that time, both of which couldn't have applied to Wheel of Time, which shut down for more than five months and was not filming during January. She also said that the series she was currently working on was Britannia, which means that's what she was working on just prior to everything shutting down. Finally, she speaks of Wheel of Time in the past tense, as something she did and completed. Usually, flashbacks in shows or films will link to the characters as they are in the present. So if an adult Swan Sanche is not in episode 7 or 8, why would a young Swan be? Also. Michael D. Cruz was an actor uncovered by Redanian Intelligence during the shutdown. At that time, his Spotlight CV said that he was currently waiting to film the role of Zahir. The wording makes it sound like he was waiting due to the pandemic, and thus he could be part of Block 4, or he could be part of a new shot needed for a previous episode. But with his role being someone unknown to book fans, I felt there wasn't enough information to determine either way. If I had to guess though, I'd venture that he's probably in Block 4. Let's move on to locations. Now, we don't know if these were the locations originally planned for use in the spring or not, but as far as the locations we know of, we have a quarry, a forest, a sand quarry, the fortress town of Terezin, the fortress town of Josefov, a small hut that looks to belong to a fisherman or fisherwoman, and what looks to be a maze of tree roots. Now, just as a note, we learned that some filming was completed in the Canary Islands. This was probably not during Block 4, but considering we don't know for sure exactly when and where that Canary Island filming was completed, we can't totally rule it out. Alright, finally, let's move on to that filming timeline, starting with the period just prior to filming. In August, some crew members were seen making their way back to Prague, and on August 15th, director Kieran Donnelly posted this picture from Prague. On August 21st, Marcus Rutherford was on his way to the Czech Republic. And the next week, on August 23rd, writer and co-executive producer A.K. Schumann was also back in Prague. Also on the 23rd, Kate Fleetwood was off to somewhere in an airplane. Note the interaction between her and Rafe. It's probably safe to say she was headed to the Czech Republic too. On August 27th, Barney Harris landed in Prague. 
and Kate Fleetwood also made this post on Twitter. Was fortunate to be back in the makeup chair today. Unwitting tears sprang up when I grasped the lace of my wig to help bring it onto my head. These things, these little things we do in collaboration remind us of what we do and what we set out to do. Hashtag stories, hashtag wheel of time. So we know she was in hair and makeup that day, probably for a costume fitting prior to filming. On the 28th, Madeline Madden arrived back in Prague, and also Daniel Henney shared this photo of himself with an adorable mask while he was en route to the Czech Republic. Two days later, on the 30th, Sandra Yi Sensen Diver posted that she was in Prague but still in quarantine, and Thomas Channing also posted that he was in the city. On the 31st, Josha Shadowski arrived, and on September 2nd, a very lucky fan spotted Marcus, Maddie, and Zoe while she was out and about, so we know Zoe Robbins was also in the city. On the 3rd, it looks like there was some riding practice for the cast, because Thomas shared this picture of Archie, who happens to be one of the horses playing Bella, and Marcus posted this video of himself on a horse. So that's it for the pre-filming updates. Before we get into filming, I wanted to go over a few reminders. First, filming usually takes place Monday through Friday. So I assumed there was no filming on the weekend unless I know there was for sure. Second, unlike pre-taint times, gallivanting across Europe on the weekend is no longer an option. So once a cast member arrives in Prague, they're probably going to be staying there until they've wrapped with their part. At this point in the filming timeline, these are the major known cast and crew we have accounted for. Our primary cast of seven, Yosha Strudowski, Marcus Rutherford, Barney Harris, Zoe Robbins, Madeline Madden, Rosamund Pike, and Daniel Henney. We also presumably have Kate Fleetwood based off of her post, though I do want to note that we don't know exactly when Kate left Prague. Thomas Channing and Sandra Yusensen Diver are also in Prague, as is Guy Roberts, who lives there. And finally, we have showrunner Rafe Judkins, who arrived back in early summer, director Kieran Donnelly, DOP David Luther, and writer slash producer Amanda Kate Schumann. Let's get to weeks one through three. We know filming restarted on September 7th, and that they were scheduled to film for four or five days in a quarry. We also know that horses were involved at this location. Check out this closer look at the quarry posted on September 8th. Keep in mind that this may not be the exact filming area, but we can get a general sense of the landscape. Later that day, Hamid Animashan posted this to his Instagram, so we can check Hamid off of our list of cast and crew in Prague at the moment. Moving on to September 9th, Kaye made her first post from Prague. Just in case the streets aren't iconic enough, you can see that it says Prague Absence Sensor on the sign to the right. Later that night, she went out with fellow cast members Sandra and Thomas. If you recall from my video focusing on Kaye, she and Thomas know each other previously and were in the show White Dragon together. So let's check Kaye off of our list as well. Moving on to the 11th, there was some shooting in the forest on that day. I am going to go ahead and squeeze this forest picture in here. From this other picture, we can see that horses were also part of the shoot on this day as spotted by our own horse expert, Lane. Let's zoom in a little bit more so we can see better. And now, moving on to the next week. On the 14th, Maddie posted these pictures of a couple of very vibrant mushrooms, so I'm going to guess that Maddie's in a forest somewhere on set. On the 15th, Daniel posted this gorgeous picture with the appropriate caption, Light. So again, I'm guessing that Daniel was on set this day somewhere in the forest. Also, thanks to Narg, we know that at some point, Rosamund Pike was also on set in a forest, filming close-ups of riding a horse. I'm not going to post the actual video, but from this still without Moraine, you can see the forest looks very similar to the ones we've seen in the last few pictures. So I'm guessing that Rosamund was filming around this time too. Moving over to September 18th. On an episode of the Hobbycast, Amar Chata Patel said that he was heading to Prague that Friday. The episode was recorded on September 13th, which means Friday the 18th was the day he arrived in Prague. So we can cross Amar off of our list for being in the city. That weekend on the 20th, we got this awesome photo of Hamid, Marcus, Zoe, and Maddie hanging out courtesy of Maddie's Instagram stories. September 21st was the first day of a week of filming in the sand quarry. We know that night we had a night shoot. 
On September 23rd, Sandra shared her onset meal, and since this was posted around 10 or 11 p.m. Prague time, I'm guessing this day was also a night shoot. So we've got night shoots again and Sandra on set. September 24th was Kate Fleetwood's birthday, and she posted this photo of her celebrating. It's not clear where she is, but when the photo was lightened up a bit, I noticed that the shirt this person is wearing looks an awful lot like this shirt worn by Kate Fleetwood's husband, Rupert Gold. What do you think? Not convinced? Well, Rupert also sometimes wears glasses that look an awful lot like these glasses on the table. I'm going to guess that Kate is at home celebrating her birthday with her husband. If you recall from my previous block for video, Kate was originally only going to be available to film for about two weeks before rehearsals for 101 Dalmatians was scheduled to start. Well, we're already in week three of filming, so it's very possible that Kate's already finished filming her part. With that, I'm going to guess that she's no longer in Prague and is done filming for now. All right, so on the 24th, Sandra shared her set meal again around midnight. And then she later revealed that she didn't finish shooting until 5.35 in the morning. So I think it's safe to say again that there were night shoots on this day. Moving on to the 25th, it looks like more night shoots, although Sandra thankfully wrapped early that day. A week of night shoots sounds exhausting. Thank you to the hardworking cast and crew for everything they do to create amazing TV shows. So that's the week of the 21st through the 25th. There's a couple more pictures, both shared by Narg. Though I don't know exactly what date this was taken, this appears to be night filming in the same sandpit location. Also, there's this one showing armed men on horseback flying banners with the Black Hawk of Shinar. So here's the first three weeks of filming one more time before we move on. Here are the next three weeks, weeks four through six. On September 27th, Zoe and Maddie were out enjoying the sights of Prague. The 28th was St. Wenceslas Day, a holiday in Prague so I'm guessing there was no filming that day. Between September 29th through October 1st, filming was scheduled to take place in the fortress town of Teresin. On the first of these days, the 29th, Yosha posted this tease in his Instagram stories. And thanks to this quickly deleted post, we know it was Kaya Alexander's first day of filming for the show. So we know she was on set somewhere that day. Also on that day, Daniel was working out at the gym and shared these sage words, the gym weaves as the gym wills. On the 30th, we got a little glimpse of the trailers set up at Terezin. We also got another glimpse of what the food on set looks like thanks to Sandra, who was filming that day. We learned that the production was at the other fortress town of Yosifo from September 30th to October 3rd. There's some overlap between the two fortresses, and I'm unsure of what that means exactly for filming. We know the show uses more than one filming unit when needed, so it's possible filming was occurring in both locations at the same time, but it's also possible that one location was undergoing setup or breakdown while filming was going on at the other location. One last thing to note for the 30th, this was originally one of the days that 9 to 15 month old twins were needed for a scene, but I'm not sure if this actually happens. More on that later. On October 2nd, Sandra shared her onset lunch around noon so we can guess she was filming again that day. Also on that day, a local photographer, Thomas Wojtasek, snapped pictures of the production while filming in Bastion 9. If you'd like to see those photos, please check out John's video on his Wadup YouTube channel. And if you'd like to hear a description of what was going on in the scene while the photographer was there, listen to episode 60 of Talk Around Riyadh. I'll put those links in the description below. From what we saw, the scene involved Yosha and Maddie and seemed to take place at night. We know some of the crew were still at Yosefov in the wee hours of October 3rd, so I'm going to go ahead and indicate that it looks that they were filming there the night of the 2nd. Finally, one more thing for the 2nd. On that day, the small fisherman's hut was undergoing prepping at the time. From these pictures, you can see a better look at what looks like fish traps and crab traps. You can compare them to these traps from Moana if you're having trouble seeing them. On October 3rd, Amr, Thomas, Sandra, Guy Roberts, and Guy's wife, Jessica Boone, were hanging out together on a boat. It's always nice to see the cast hanging out outside of filming, and I really, really hope that they'll be allowed to post more casual pictures like this soon. Fast forward a little to October 7th. It's an early call for Amr, and it's also Sandra's last day on set. Where they were filming is unknown, but that night, Amr, Sandra, Thomas, and Guy 
went out to celebrate wrapping over some delicious yakiniku. The next day, it looks like Thomas and Sandra were headed back home, as this picture from Sandra seems to have been taken at an airport. So, Sandra and Thomas are done shooting. Also on the 8th, we've got trailers lined up at the studio, and we know Amr was shooting that day. The next day, on the 9th, Kira Chansa is all set for her first day of filming. We don't know exactly when she arrived in Prague, but we can go ahead and check her off of our list for now. And we can also add her first day of filming to the 9th. As far as where or what she could be filming, I have some ideas, but I'll talk about that later. Skipping ahead to October 13th, Amr is in his trailer. Hidden behind the black square is what I suspect is part of his costume. I've censored the picture for now so the surprise doesn't get spoiled for us. So Amr was filming on the 13th. Also on that day, we know a water safety team was needed for a shoot on a river. I'd like to note that because of the possibility of multiple units, Amr may or may not have been involved in the river shoot. We do know that he had this to say about what he filmed. I just wrapped an epic third act scene on a massive show, Humblebrag, full of hugely important plot points and cinematic moments, and all of the main players were people of color. Honored to have been part of it, we're not there yet, but the change is coming. I don't know about you, but hearing that gives me goosebumps, and I can't wait to see this epic third act scene for myself. It seems that this epic scene was also Amr's last scene for the show, as he was headed home on the next day. So, Amr is also done. Looking at October 14th, it's worth noting that this was originally a day scheduled for shooting with a 10-15 to 15 month old baby, but two days later, on October 16th, this new casting call went out, looking for a girl aged 8-13 to 13 months old to shoot in an American series. Instead of describing what look they want, they went and attached a photo of this very adorable girl to indicate what sort of look they would like the applicants to have. If we compare this new casting call to the old one posted on September 20th, it looks like they shifted the age range down a couple of months, from 10 to 15 months to 8 to 13 months. But when we look at the planned filming dates, it appears that this is for the same role. But since this casting call went up after the previously planned filming dates, perhaps the 9 to 15 month old extras didn't film on the previous days after all, because they couldn't find one. Also on the 16th, Narg happened to post this picture of that fishing hunt. It looks more complete compared to when we saw it being prepared on the 2nd of October. While I don't know when the picture of the fishing hunt was taken, and I don't know when the set was used, I'll still file this picture on the 16th. Of note is that Narg later shared this other picture of the hut looking burnt. I've seen some theories that this hut will be used for a flashback scene with Swan Sanjay, so it's possible that Kier was filming at this set. This is of course just a theory. So that's week 4 through 6. Moving on to week 7 through 9. On October 21st, there was filming of additional footage using wolf dogs in the Dobris region. The kennel actually asked us to remove the pictures from our article on watseries.com, so I'm not going to show them, but it's notable that in the background of one of the pictures was a tent with decorations similar to those seen in other pictures with white clothes. I'm going to note here as a reminder that this shoot was not for episode 7 or 8, but for a previous episode. On October 25th, Takaran Riyadh tweeted this photo shared with them by Watt Series. Here's a better look at what appears to be a cluster or maze of tree roots. This particular photo was taken on October 22nd, but we know the area this set was in was set aside for the show's use from the 19th until the 27th. Though once again, keep in mind that they usually allow breaks on the weekends for the cast and crew. They shot here for a few more days, including night shoots, as we later shared on Instagram. Now, here's where things start to get a little sad. On October 30th, a crew member was spotted online packing up their bags. And on November 1st, director Kieran Donnelly left Prague. Whether he was done or not, I don't know. But based off of the previous schedule, it's possible he was not finished directing all his scenes from episode 7 or 8. On November 3rd, Yosha posted this video from Prague captioned, The Last Round. And on the 5th, Daniel Henney revealed that he was with his beloved dog Juliet in Michigan. The next day, Maddie posted from Sydney where she was quarantining in a hotel. The Extras Agency updated their website to say that the status of Wheel of Time, or Project W, was interrupted until April 2021. 
Finally, another crew member posted on November 7th with the hashtag COVID wins again. If you recall from earlier in the video, they were scheduled to film in the Czech Republic until mid-December, so this was disappointing. But the health and safety of the cast and crew is the most important. We did get some good news in later November, however. Though filming in the Czech Republic had stopped, we learned that filming was scheduled to take place at the Alcazar of Segovia at the beginning of December, with setup taking place at the end of November. As it turns out, this filming appears to have been for episodes 3, 4, or 5. I previously thought that this filming was likely for episodes 3 or 4 because of this listing in one of the actors' TVs. Note the dual credit of Wayne Yip and Paco Cabezas. As you recall, Wayne Yip is the director for episodes 3 and 4. However, Miguel has episodes 4 and 5 listed on his IMDb page. So, just to err on the side of caution, I'm going to note that these additional scenes may be for episodes 3, 4, or 5. Here are the known locations for this additional filming. This is the Alcazar de Segovia. It's a beautiful castle located in Segovia, Spain. Within it, we have the entrance, the Terraza del Pozo, and the Terraza del Moros. We also have some new cast for this filming. In addition to Alvaro Morte, we also have Miguel Alvarez, Sieg Fernandez, Rebecca Tonwen, and Brandy Rodriguez. Brandy works most often as a stuntman, but he does have two acting credits to his name. His name was spotted on a dressing room, so I'm unsure if his role is as an actor or as a stuntman. So these are the three days that Alcazar was scheduled to be utilized by the production, with prep scheduled on November 30th and a battle taking place on the 1st and the 2nd of December. From December 1st, we've got this film slate, which shows us that the director for these Segovia shoots was Paco Cabezas, known for his work on Penny Dreadful and Into the Badlands, and the director of photography was Pablo Rosso, who recently worked on Reyes de la Noche and 30 Coins. By the way, ever notice how these stripes are practically the colors of all the Ajas? Except, where's the brown? There we go, that's better. Alright, back to filming. As a reminder, here are the actors, director, and DOP involved. On December 1st, these pictures were taken and published in El Dia de Segovia. If you zoom in, you can see that the flags are of three six-pointed stars on a red background, the flag of Gildan. On December 2nd, Alvaro Morte posted a picture in his stories that confirmed he was at the Alcazar. Here are the photos that go along with the previous posts. As you can see, at the very top edge of each photo, the signs are the same. If you want to check out the location yourself, look for this spot on Google Street View. So, December 2nd was the second day of filming at the Alcazar de Segovia. I'm not sure exactly which days these were taken on, but here's a set photo from the Terraza del Pozo where you can see those guilds and flags. Here's another photo taken at the Sala de Armas, or Armory. The flags, shields, and armor are all part of the castle, as you can see here. I'm not sure if the armory itself was filmed, or if just the space was used. And as far as we know, that's it for 2020. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Filming for season 1 was finally completed in April and May of 2021, but to be honest, we know so little about what happened during those months of shooting that I may not make a video specifically for those weeks. Please let me know if you'd like me to do one, even if we don't know that much about it. Besides that, John and I from Wadup have been working on an Everything We Know About Episode 1 video. Please keep an eye out for that. As you can see, I don't release videos on a regular schedule, so to get notifications when I do release one, follow me on Twitter or subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and then turn on notifications. Also, don't forget to check out the latest news from Wattseries.com. If you have a tip about filming for us, please email us at tips at Thanks for watching!